State government has to deal with many complex issues, but a few can literally be matters of life and death, and child abuse is one of them. In the aftermath of a pair of tragic cases, a Maine senator is calling for a big change to the state's child protective system. New Center Maine's Don Carrigan reports. Kendall Chick and Marissa Kennedy, their names and faces now engraved in Maine's collective memory. Their deaths more than three years ago left a deep impression on Senator Bill Diamond. It tears my heart out when I think of little helpless, vulnerable kids being treated the way too many of these kids are. And to make it worse, they're all, these kids that I'm working, talking about are, are in state custody, in state care. And the agencies that are supposed to protect them not, have not been doing a very good job overall. Diamond wants to have the Office of Child and Family Services, which handles Maine's child protective system, taken out of the Department of Health and Human Services and made into a standalone cabinet level state agency with its own commissioner and budget. Something as important as child protection should have its own department, should have its own commissioner so they can fight for that one specific thing. Right now the commissioner has so many different uh, areas that she has to deal with and fight for. The Mills administration is opposed. Todd Landry, director of the Office of Child and Family Services, sent a letter to the legislative committee reading in part, the costs and drawbacks outweigh any benefits that might be derived from this change. He said splitting the office away from DHHS would require changes in law and complicated budget and program adjustments, which he said would distract from the needed work of improving the lives of Maine's children and families. And a former DHHS child protective supervisor, Sean Yardley, says that change alone would not solve the problems. When the real issue is the, the political will to spend the money to have the flexibility to respond when children are at risk um, and not to wait. But Senator Diamond, who was in his last term in Augusta, says it is too important an issue to drop. If they walk away and I walk away and we all walk away, when that next child, we get the word that another child has died in, in state custody, then we're gonna feel awful. And all the people in charge are gonna say, oh, we're gonna fix the problem because that's what we always say. Making such a big change to the biggest department in state government will be a real challenge for lawmakers filled with questions about cost and complexity and what really is the best way to make sure all of those children in the state's care really are protected. In Augusta, Don Kerrigan, New Center, Maine. At today's legislative hearing, several lawmakers said there should be a study done before making such a complicated change. Senator Diamond says he has no objection to that and will support anything that makes the system better.